the next 15 years for a municipality like the town of Innisfil, growth planning starts now for that time frame. So, you know, residents and business owners may hear about the town doing different master planning projects, such as the transportation master plan or parks and rec master plans. And those plans really are designed to build out that 15 year time frame. So municipalities uh, like Innisfil really need to start planning for growth right now for that time frame. In the next 15 years, growth looks incredible for the town of Ennisville. Um, it's, we know we're going to have growth, it's just really what does that growth look like. And I would say what we're going to see is growth certainly being directed to the primary settlement area of Alcona and then next you're going to see a build out of some of our smaller um, urban areas and settlement areas such as you know, Churchill and Stroud and, and Cookstown. And you're going to be seeing growth in these areas so that we actually can protect other areas from growth and development and sprawl. Areas such as our natural areas and our farming community and um, some of our hazard lands near the lake, those sorts of places are going to be protected from growth. And you're just going to see within those settlement areas a range of uses and um, it's, it's going to be fantastic. Well, you know, again, directing growth to settlement areas really, the, the concept behind that is then to be able to protect our more rural uh, farming areas. So what it's going to look like in the settlement areas to accommodate that growth is potentially something then that we're used, not used to seeing, which um, might be a bit of a diversion from our typical, say, single detached dwelling unit subdivisions, and we might start seeing things um, more like townhouses, semi-detached units, um, stacked townhouses, potentially even some low-rise apartment buildings. Well now, um, in terms of numbers and growth, we're not just seeing numbers dictated towards residential growth, um, it's actually coordinated with employment growth as well. So just to, to put it into perspective, say from 2011 to 2016, the Canada Census uh, showed a growth of population in Innisfil from about 11, just a little over 11%, which worked out to about 2% annually. Now as we see growth going forward, we're looking um, closer at actually taking us to that 2031 time frame, closer to over 4% annually. One thing that we know is that people attract people. So the growth, the reason why the growth really facilitates that excitement is because we know that more people are going to move to the area, more people are going to be using our parks and our community hubs. Um, the growth is going to be great for new businesses and existing businesses just by giving them more customers to service and more services to provide. And as new people come to the community, as they become involved in the community, we can all leverage that fantastic broad range of services and skills that our residents can provide. Well, Innisfil as a town and as a corporation really is not afraid to try new things and residents and business owners really should be um, leveraging that commitment that the town is is experiencing and um, as it relates to the new official plan one of the things that's new and exciting in, in that official plan document is the placemaking concept so the concept of not looking at new developments in isolation looking at new developments as a creation of place and having those new places create um, connections to our existing hubs and community centers so those linkages and getting people to and from all these different areas um, is, is really a new um, a new direction.